doing here, dude? Every every episode, there's just Alex here working yeah, in the yeah. background. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, bought, you're still working? I bought a new car. <laughs> I'm working on this one all the time now. Gotta get it ready for Super Lap Battle. We got this little car that we're gonna try to fit big tires on. So we have to figure out how to make that all fit. For now, what do we got going on outside? Something super choppy showed up. It's Chop Look, King. I heard something extra choppy. Sounded extra V8. Extra like. choppy. Oh, there's so much stuff everywhere. Just can't get over you with the cane, man. What is that thing? Dude, this on? guy is you tripping. People, man. It's gonna be so bouncy. No, it's not. It's fine. Watch. Can we get you on a stable cam? You mean to do All it right. while you walk? No, I'm good. I'm good. We're good. Yeah. There's no difference in like when Hurt does this. Yeah. It's the same. <laughs> man, what do we got here? This thing is rowdy. Can I get a high five? High five, John. John, you got up, John. Do that? Yeah, I just did it. See that? High five, four. <laughs> Dude, it's yeah, and crutches. gifted, man. <laughs> Multitasking. Yeah, like, man. On point. Uh, Josh, you actually were here with JTP. JTP when we were doing his episode, yeah. Cut to some of that footage. <laughs> I do apologize if this is a little shaky than normal, but whatever. Uh, here's my 1968 Camaro that it started off as a autocross slash drift build. And then I, I autocrossed it a couple times and just got kind of bored with it and just kept it a drift car, made a couple modifications, just get some angle out of it and kind of somewhat stay straight and comfortable. And that's what I got so far. <laughs> so, drift car. So is that why it has mismatched panels? That happened at All Star Bash a couple weeks ago. Oh, so you so, drive this at like jam events? Yeah, Six. I actually uh, kind of tandem with the S13 and got a little close, and they're a nice little dent in there. That's why I got the fender on there. Didn't sick. get it painted fast enough. But. Oh, that's sick though, man. I have a real quick question. Um, are you familiar with a movie called Aloha, Bobby and Rose? No. Okay. Should I? Uh, he's it's Paul and Matt. It's from 1975. Paul and Matt stars in it. Who has also played John Milner in American Graffiti in 1973. Oh, yes, yes. He drives a 68 Camaro through Hollywood Hills. It was red though. Not too, actually this looks pretty similar. If you had side pipes on it, it would be right on there. It's so, got side out of the one side. It's got one, so there you go, see, <laughs> see? But man, this thing is sick. So, I'm a question though. Uh, as a, I drive the cars from this period, time period, they have really horrible steering angle. How did you manage to accomplish this? Okay. It looks like you got a rack and pinion now. Well, what I got is actually the factory box on the stock subframe. Um, I got tubular A-arms, Corvette C5 spindles, and as far as angle, the only thing I really did was just add wheel spacers. Other than that, I haven't changed any of the, you know, geometry or the components. Really? I mean, later down the road, I do want to like convert this to a McPherson strut style suspension. I know it sounds like crazy, but I know I can make it happen. That's what I'm gonna do in the future, but for right now, I really haven't done much for angle. So is it, is it huh. has just a really short spring on it? Is that like a coilover style? Yeah, it's a coilover style. Right. So it's everything's still factory design, but just full of aftermarket parts. So what do you got here for uh, the mill? What's going on here? Um, okay, so it's a small block Chevy, uh, 3D3 stroker, uh, dark block. Uh, everything in the engine is completely aftermarket. Uh, the last I remember, I think it's got an Eagle crank, Eagle rods, um, <laughs> comp cam, uh, comp rockers. I mean, it's really, there's no Chevy part in this anymore. 
Uh, we did dyno the engine, it's got 512 to the crank. I don't know exactly what it's putting to the wheels, but it's definitely plenty to get them spinning. Yeah. There. Uh, it's got a Tremec TKO 600, five nice. speed. Nice. Yeah. Then I also converted the rear end from a 10 bolt to a Ford nine inch. Uh, the rear suspension actually, it came factory with leaf springs. And then I designed and fabricated a three link torque arm rear suspension. What do you got for rear gear in this? 370 is what I have okay. right now. So it's got a lot of bottom end. Uh, Woo, I didn't get to see this. Nice little cage in there. Yeah, yeah the door bars I had to add for all-star bash. This is pretty fresh. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> Not too often you see a 68 Camaro with a hydro. No, no. You uh, familiar with the Falcon? Used to campaign one of these. I think it was a 60s. Yes, Ryan Hampton. Yep. Uh, they call it, I think they call it, what was it, a black top rodeo. <laughs> At the time when that car was running, that's when I was building this car. And Ryan Hampton's car was a huge, huge uh, inspiration to me when I was building this car at the time, because that's when they were running it. And yeah. I remember seeing his 69 and I'm like, okay, 68 Camaro's got a drift. So what's up with the trunk? Is it still, is the fuel cell living there? Or is it still got a trunk in it? It's actually got a stock uh, gas tank in it. What? Yeah, stock gas tank. So it's wait, wait. under the diffuser. So you're running a carburetor on it still? Yes. And you have no problem with, you have jet extensions on it? None. You don't have a, you have a, a mechanical? I don't have a surge tank, nothing. It's just a tank and a carburetor. And you have a normal mechanical pump on it? I didn't yeah, even look. Yeah, mechanical uh, pump. Wow. Damn, this is some serious stuff though, guys. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, hold well, on. Oh, you got a wink mirror in it too. That's pretty sick. What other cars inspired you to, on, like for styling cues or anything particular? Or? Um, I did use a little bit of, you know, certain things from Big Red. That yeah. Camaro used a little bit of Big Red. Uh, let's see, also... Show some photos and some footage of Big Red. It's the number one, it's the baddest. It's like the baddest Camaro ever made. First gen, yeah. Yeah, ever. Can we just talk fire. about this Hugger Orange right now? What was that, 13, 14, 15 coats? So deep, <laughs> fall into it like a swimming pool? <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking a lot about third gens, right? But if anybody wants to donate a first or second gen, uh, third gen, or all three, we're here for it. What about a fourth? I mean, Fortune's cool, but yeah. I still see you in an IROC, man. IROC, T-Tops, mullet. Of course, of course, there's a muscle car here, so Brian's instantly intrigued. I'm actually surprised it doesn't have an LS in it. I'm actually pleasantly I get, surprised. I, actually, I get that a lot, actually. Yeah. I'm stoked that it doesn't. Yeah, so am I. It's I'm so typical now. Brian's favorite part of this car is the mismatched fender. Yeah, because you would put that on a perfectly restored, like, restored car just for fun. <laughs> no, that's right. I think it's a character. Otherwise, like, how many orange Camaros have you seen? So you're like, yeah. What's the actual color code on this name? It's actually Hugger Orange, you got it. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so Josh, why is why a first gen Camaro for your first drift car? That's it's, definitely not a typical choice. I get it, I like I literally get that question all the time even when I show up to events and my response is always, why not? You know, I seen Ryan Hampton with his 69 and at the time I was yeah. building this car and I seen Big Red doing all this stuff so I was like, you know what, let's make another, you know, first gen drift, drift Camaro and you know, instead of, you know, the Falcon car's all big, I was, I'm just a nobody, you know, why not just have was fun it, with was it? Was it nice when you bought it, or did you just buy, like, a real rough roller? It was actually, the car sat in the backyard for 20-some years, um, but it was a complete car, complete interior, engine, trans, it ran and drove. Sick. And rolled it into my shop, took it down to was a shell. Was it, like, a clean car, or was it? It was rough around the yeah, edges. Right. I mean, found vines growing in it, and, you know, a couple of body spots I had to clean up. By the way, my favorite thing, which I'm sure you guys talked about too, is the wing on the back. The uh, recessed kind of washer setup on the front side, or these. Now those. The little quick release so joints on the back track. side, so good. Although it's kind of a pain when, you, sort of a pain when you go to like a car track. show and you got your cooler, your food, snacks, you know, you gotta unhook it every yeah. single time. And you're like, hold on, let me get right. each one of these out. Like when I go to Albertsons to go get my groceries and stuff. Yeah, but... Oh, it's a good grocery getter, though. Yeah. And the diffuser on it. Yeah. yeah. Unlike my Nova, you don't have to pop the trunk to put fuel in the car, so that makes it easy. Does this car already have the cage in it? And no, I, I actually, I did the did cage, the, uh, and I did out? have the back seat in it, and then after, when I kind of wanted to make it more of a actual drift car, I needed to take some weight out, so I took the rear seat out, uh, I had a, a fabricated trunk panel in there that I cut out, and I took out, I think, another... 150 pounds and itself doing that. Right now, the car uh, with me in it is 3,155 pounds. Oh, that's pretty good. Pounds. So it's so still pretty good for an all-steel car. 
Um, you know, I don't know anything different. I mean, I learned how to drift in a solid rear end. I mean, I've slid a Sick. couple of IRS cars before, but I never drove them. So you learned to drift in this car? Yeah, oh, that's right. He is a dimple daddy, though. Look at it. He's got Yo, dimples the everywhere. The dimples dude. with yeah. the speaker everywhere. grills are pretty sick. <laughs> yeah. Look, there's mini dimples on the front yeah, side. there's dimples everywhere. So is this thing going to party in this yard? Can this thing yeah. get down in a small space? Yeah. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure. Have you ever yeah, taken this thing to like a small track, like Grange? Uh, yeah. Adams. Been in Grange. Been in Adams. Okay, yeah. then you're good. How stoked are you now that you have door bars and it's miserable to get in and out of? And it's a street yeah. car still. <laughs> <laughs> Worst idea ever was those door bars. Baby, safety first. Actually, correction. That style first, safety third. Pure danger is somewhere in between. But second is a first place loser. And he was like, man, I'd really like to see him just get those figure eights. And, and I was like, he looks like he's still going to go here. I was kind of like, it's, it's rippier here than I thought. Well, because it's all rubber. It's, it's all yeah. tire. Exactly. <laughs> Almost high five. That dude, was that was nice work. Nice work. Oh, oh yeah, thank man. You. Thank you. used to come down here for the smoke and they'd be like, no, we just want to watch. <laughs> 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 